Good evening and welcome to the Gothic Bohemian Salon. Tonight I'm going to start a new series which is going to be about women of power and mystery. This is um, a series about the women who have inspired, delighted, moved, and shaped my life and hopefully they will be an inspiration to you as well. There'll be all sorts of women um, from uh, actresses, socialites, heiresses to artists, poets, writers, um, and just maybe even close friends that I feel inspired by. Um, I'm going to start with one of my earliest influences, um, who is uh, an Australian, or I should say who was, an Australian artist. Um, her name was Volly Myers. And I um, discovered her when I was about, or in about 1982, I think, um, I f saw a picture in a magazine. Um, it was this picture, actually. And um, as you can see, she's quite a striking lady. Um, this was all I had of her for a very long time, this image, and of course, I mean, you can see the facial tattoos and uh, the hair, the coal eyeliner and everything. It's just a really striking uh, woman. Um, my uh, boyfriend at the time had the same photograph and had been struck by it as well. Or it's possible that this was his photograph. I might have just had a smaller one. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly. Um, there's another image that I had. Uh, this one here on the um, on the right. Um, the one on the left is a different woman strangely enough, um, and I don't know anything about her, but it's either somebody who um, maybe made themselves up as Vali or was inspired by her and got tattooed. I don't, I just don't know. I heard that there was a woman who um, got tattooed like Vali and sort of was a little bit of a fan or a copycat or something. I'm not sure what you'd call her but um, I don't know anything more about her and it's best not to speculate anyway. But for a long time, the only images that I had um, were this one here and the one that I showed you first. Now you'll notice in this image that you can just make out a tattoo on the back of her hand that looks um, circular and you really can't see more of it than that. Um, I had also heard about her, um, that her, that she was only tattooed on her face, hands, and feet. Which I found uh, very interesting. At the time, it was illegal in many places to get tattooed below the ankle, wrist, or above the neck. So this was all, you know, fascinating. And um, she had done this, you know, as far as I knew, in the 60s. Well, it turns out that she actually did, uh, had her tattoos done, I think, in the 50s. Or maybe it was the 60s, but in any case, it was very early, and I'm sure that, um, you know, she must have, uh, you know, had some repercussions or, you know, 
though I haven't read of any story where she was uh, assaulted or um, you know attacked or anything because of her tattoos um, I did then uh, see a book um, which I wasn't able to buy at the time but it was this book of uh, of her artwork so it turned out that she was a rather incredible artist this is one of her pieces on the cover um, she's also really into her animals and the tattoo on the back of her hand is actually a tattoo of one of her beloved animals which was a, a little fox named Foxy um, when she, it passed away she had um, a memorial tattoo done I think the one on the back of her hand was done before um, Foxy passed away um, I'm just going to show you a little bit from the book her um, handwriting is very interesting too. There's Foxy with Bali. Um, she painted with the finest little uh, quill pens and brushes. And she would take years on a single piece, but they were amazing. Um, here's one of my favorite ones. see that. I'm not sure if I'm showing it very well. There's only a few books on Volley, um, but there is one that just came out recently, which I highly recommend, and I believe you can get it on Amazon. It's pretty inexpensive. It's only $20, and it's this book. It's called Night Flower. It is filled with beautiful illustrations um, of Vali and and uh, things from her notebooks. She kept these notebooks. She died in um, 2003, unfortunately. Here's some more stuff. Um, and. Uh, you know, it's really sad, actually. But I think she was around 75, so she lived a good long life. Um, yeah, she was a little bit older than everybody in the 60s. She was like 30, or, you know, hanging out with the 20, 20 something year old crowd and younger. There's a picture of her without any tattoos. It's kind of interesting. Um, Bali was the inspiration for me, there's the back of the book, to get the tattoo on the back of my hand here. I didn't know what her tattoo was. Um, I did want to have my face tattooed at one point as well. I was so inspired by her. Um, just the, that intense commitment to uh, to herself and to art and you know so I, I had this tattoo done um, when I was 19 I believe the other thing that I did was um, she has this uh, or she had I keep having to do that she had these um, it's uh, I think six um, uh, little dots, five dots around the center one, I don't know if you can see that. Right there she had that there. Um, so I had that done as a tribute to her. In any case, she was quite an amazing woman. She was born in Melbourne, I believe, and traveled, um, she was quite young, left home, traveled to Paris in the 40s, and uh, I think earned her living dancing. She sort of was a really incredible free spirit. She earned her living with her paintings and, and by dancing, and I guess um, maybe, uh, you know, um, possibly uh, panhandling or something like that. 
um, she ended up living in this uh, incredible valley in Italy, I believe, um, Positano. There was, there was a movie made called The Witch of Positano, which is about her. Um, there's another, there's a biography about her, which I do not have yet. Um, I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I think it's just called Volley Myers, a biography. I'm very, very interested in reading that. And um, she's just one of the most fascinating people I've ever heard of in my life. So that's one of the women who have inspired my life and I hope that knowing a bit more about her will help to inspire yours. Thank you for joining me for the Gothic Bohemian Salon. Good night.